Today we're going to be canning our butternut squash harvest. You're going to need some butternut squash. A sharp chef knife, a vegetable peeler, a large spoon, and maybe a paring knife. A large container to put the squash in, and a large bowl to put your scraps in. To start with, we're going to take our sharp knife, cut off the top and the bottom. Be very careful as butternut squash is quite tough. Next, take your vegetable peeler and peel the skin. Again, the skin is very tough, so hold on to them. I like to save a little bit of the skin on the neck so I have something to hold on to that's not slippery. Clean up the bottom, turn it around, and do the neck. Clean up your scraps, put it in your large scrap bowl, we're going to cut off the bulby part of the squash. This contains the seeds. Cut that in half. Voila! There's the seeds. We're going to scrape those out with our large spoon. A seed pocket usually can be removed pretty much all at once. Then just take your spoon and clean up what's left. There it is, nice and clean. Do that with the other half. You could save these seeds to plant more next year, or you can roast them like pumpkin seeds. Today, I'm just going to throw them out. Next, you're going to cut the neck of the squash in half. This has no seeds in it. It's just a nice firm squash. Take your knife and cut it into approximately one inch pieces. Doesn't have to be exact. If some are bigger, that's fine. another squash we've got more to do do it the exact same way as we did last one this one's a little bit bigger make sure you have a good vegetable peeler I broke my other one this morning so I'm on my backup peeler Gather up your scraps. Very slick, hold on to it. Cut that bulby part off in half. Clean out those seeds. Just going to be composting the scraps today. Nice looking seeds, though, if you're into roasting. Look 
how pretty that is. Sometimes you have to orient your squash according to your knife length. That's what I'm doing here. Just trying to make it easy. I'm going to separate this because it's quite long. to use this canned butternut squash in place of pumpkin for recipes. It makes a really good pie. Last Thanksgiving, I made a butternut squash pie in place of pumpkin. It was yummy. Beautiful orange squash. Here's what I have left to do today. Now that my tub is full, we're going to start packing quart mason jars. I'm just going to use my hand. This is a cold pack. Shake it down so all the pieces fit. These will be canned in plain water, no salt today. Since this is versatile product and pantry item, I want to be able to use it however I see fit, and I don't want salt in it. down gently. See if you can fit a couple more pieces in there. One more. You want to leave about a half inch headspace. I'm going to keep filling jars until this tub is empty. fill the jars with tap water. Again, this is just plain water, no added salt. Now that the jars are filled with plain water, we're going to add lids and rings, just fingertip tight, nothing crazy. These will be pressure canned at 10 pounds pressure for 90 minutes. Now, if you live in a higher elevation, be sure to check your canning guide for your proper timing on your pressure canned goods. <music> 10 pounds pressure, we're timing it for 90 minutes. The canner's done. I'm just getting them out onto these placemats so they can cool for 24 hours. After 24 hours or the next day, I will clean the jars up, remove the rings, and wash them and get them ready for the pantry. 
the squash is going to be so nice to have in the pantry. After your jars have set for about 24 hours, you can see they have some residue, sticky residue on the lids and it is around the bands as well. So to properly store your canned goods, you want to remove the band and I just throw mine in some soapy water and I'll wash in a little bit. And then I use some hot water and we're going to wash the jars. And that sticky residue, slightly sticky, comes right off. And get around where the band was. Sometimes I use a soapy rag. Sometimes your hands are good enough. They clean up real nice. Shake the water off. This does not hurt your canned product whatsoever because if I grab a hold of the lid, it's secure. It is not coming open. Again, you wanna take your bands off and just wash your jars. I do this with all of my canned food. And it helps with the life of your jars and prevents clouding as, as well as just having clean canned goods. So here's all the canned butternut squash after it's been washed. Now you can either go through and dry these with paper towel or a kitchen towel or let them air dry. And then I like to label ours, date them, and then we will store them away with all of our other canned goods. I don't remember the exact count of butternut squash, but we did wind up with 47 quarts of it. One jar out of all of these didn't seal, so we enjoyed that for supper the other night. But I think that's pretty good. I like to use the butternut squash in place of pumpkin in a lot of recipes. It makes a delicious pie makes delicious uh, sweet bread like pumpkin bread and then we like to mash it up and season it with some cinnamon cloves and nutmeg and some honey as a treat similar to that of yams so that's how you can butternut squash